welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. Even if you don't have a Valentine, you can still rock this look and be like, I'm anti-Valentine's Day because I look like a vampire. <laughs> I really wanted to play with my new palette. Um, it's the Galaxy Chic Palette by BH Cosmetics. The colors in here are absolutely stunning. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you, but come on, it, they're beautiful. So I just really wanted to dive in and try some of the colors in there, and I came up with this look. It's kind of a more dark, vampy Valentine's Day look, but your girl never wears makeup anymore, so I was really excited to do this look for you. I'm gonna start rambling, but remember to subscribe, like this video for more videos, and I will see you at the end. So I was totally gonna do a voiceover, as you just saw with my moisturizer, eye cream, and brown sugar scrub, but I figured I would make this a little more personal and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about everything I'm putting on my face. So all these products were in the last video that I had going on, um, cause they were my favorites. So you'll see all of those products on the face today. So like you saw, I put on my Clinique moisturizer. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Then I put on my sugar lip polish. Um, I do this before I put on my makeup so my lips lips are nice and ready to go and then I put some eye cream on just to let that set in because I think it helps um, my under eyes kind of look a little brighter now we're gonna get into primer so the primer that I've still used um, I've been using it for a while as you can see it's almost empty this is the Stila one step corrector and it has all these different colors in it it's super cool so I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger just put it on my t-zone that's really all I do and today I'm not going to use my beauty blender because it really needs to be washed. I think that's why I am getting broken out a little bit. So we're going to take a little break from that guy. So now that my face is primed, I'm going to let it cool off a little bit. And then I am going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay. This is so good for normal to oily skin. Um, it just soaks it all up and it lasts all day. So that's why I'm really lacking. And I pat it around my face and then I kind of go in with a finger and pat it like so. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Kabuki brush. Haven't used this guy in a while, but I really like it because it's super dense and with this foundation, it works really nicely. And my face is really red today. Um, I did a spin class this morning and the towel really irritated my face because I get super sweaty in those classes, so I use the towel frequently. So right now what I'm gonna do too is just take a little bit of this, and it acts really nicely as a concealer too, and I just put a little bit on my eyelids because my eyelids are red as well right now, and I take this 3D HD brush from Sigma and just pat that in. So now we are going to take our setting powder. I do this before bronzer and blush. I don't know why. I don't know where I learned that from, but I do it. And I just shake it and a lot comes into the cap. So now we are going to go in to the Anastasia Contour Kit. I didn't do um, concealer just because I my under eyes have been a little irritated, so I wanna see if that's that concealer. That's why I've been using this eye cream to kind of settle it down a little bit. So that's why we went into powder and everything. But usually for my setting, I use the banana powder in the Anastasia Contour Kit, which is really amazing too. But for right now, we are going to go in with the bronzer and bronze up our faces. Up to the forehead and down on the neck. I've been watching Patrick Starr's video. Oh my God, he is so funny. I love him. I want to meet him in person. It's a life goal of mine. Now we are going to go in with the Marc Jacobs blush in Kink and Kisses. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Look how cute. This also a little bit goes a long way, so careful. <laughs> and then brush that on there just a little bit. You don't want to look like a drag queen on your date, or you do. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, going in with High Beam, this is by Benefit. I'm almost out. I put a little bit on my cheekbones right here, on my nose, cute though, and let's do it. So I take my ring finger and just dab it in. 
I like using a cream uh, highlight before a powder because I think it really makes a huge difference. Now, guys, Moonstone by Becca is incredible. You highlight the bone. Look how pretty that is, guys. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. A little on the nose. Keep the bow. I like to be highlighted up. Now we are gonna go in with the eyebrows. But I like to brush out my brows first. As we know, these brows have a mind of their own. And we're gonna get a little closer. Okay. So I like to make a mark there. And then I drag it underneath to kind of connect it. And we go up a little further. And you start filling in. I'm going to go into eyeshadow. So I really want to dabble into sort of a more um, epic look. So we're going to go in with the Gwen Stefani palette and the Galaxy Chic palette by BH Cosmetics. We're going to use that on the lid. Even though we have concealer on, we still want to make sure that this sticks throughout your Valentine's Day night. <laughs> Am I right? I'm going to start with a pretty basic crease color and we're going to use the Gwen Stefani, the lid broke, okay? I don't want to talk about it. We're going to start with Zone in the Gwen Stefani palette. Um, it's just a nice neutral brown just to get the crease going here. You know what I mean? Just a nice starting color. And you want to go all the way in because we're going for a dramatic look. You also want to flick it out a little bit. I need you to get closer, my dear mirror. You can bring it up. Damn. And I'm using the Sephora blending brush, by the way, if you are wondering going to take one of these bright ass colors in this palette here. So I'm thinking of going in with Aphrodite on the outer corner of my eye. I think that would be so beautiful. But first, I do wanna go in with a pretty mild solid color for the center. So we're gonna go in with Bath Water in Gwen Stefani's palette. This is just a beautiful peach nude color. And we're just gonna place that in the center there just for a little more brightness. Cool. Now, we're gonna switch brushes too because we're gonna go extra dramatic with this. Which one am I gonna use? Go in with this BH Cosmetics brush in number six and we're gonna go in with that Aphrodite color. So we're just gonna do it on the outer corner And I'm actually um, a little happy that it's not so pigmented because I was a little scared. So focusing it on the outer corner will create some depth with your eye and make it look super Valentine's y. I'm gonna keep building. And I will go in the center a little bit and then we'll blend it. But it's just to add that extra pop. Cool, so now we're gonna start blending and this is the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush in E40 and we're just going to start blending upwards. Just so these colors really look good together. Let's go in with Mars, it's this deep brown color. Since we're going for a darker, Valentine's Day look, that's it. this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna just go in the crease with that. So just gonna create more of 
a shadow which will create more dimension and then we'll blend it all together too. So as you can see it's kind of making it a little bit of a cut crease. This palette is awesome. Now I'm going to take that little brush again and take that brown color, the Mars color in this palette and going to put a little bit on the bottom lash. And lastly, to add a little bit more of a Valentine's Day touch, we're going to go in with Harajuku in the Gwen Stefani palette, and we're going to place that right in the center of your eye. And we're only going to do a little bit. It's a beautiful shimmery pink color. I love it. This is so Valentine. I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh yeah, happy V-Day. We are going to do a wing liner and I'm going to be using the Ico by London. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner because I'm real, real bad at it on camera. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that. It's just, it ain't pretty. Um, so now I'm going to go in with my Hypnose Drama Mascara. This is from Lancome. You can't really see my lashes, so, so but who cares? lash it up. I can't. My hands are real slimy. Okay. And I like it because it's like a little centipede. <laughs> All right. So going in. For lipstick, we're going to go with a really dark lip. I'm trying to go for more of a vampy Valentine's Day look, as you could tell. Um, so I have a few options that I'm thinking of. Either I go with MAC or I go with Colourpop, I think I'm gonna go with MAC. I'm gonna go with MAC's Fashion Revival. It is a deep purple color and I'm really excited to apply it. All right, so this is the finished makeup look. Super dramatic, Valentine's Day look. Something that I usually don't do. Um, it's really, really rare to see me in this much makeup, but I really wanted to play with this new palette. Um, guys, Super affordable on BH Cosmetics. It is absolutely stunning. There are so many colors in here. If you are a makeup freak like me, you will love this palette. So thumbs up this video if you want to see more Valentine's Day looks because it is 14 days away, 13 days away. I don't, I don't know how to count. <laughs> um, but I really want to try to do like a more subtle look too. So if you want to see that, please thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!